Hey guys, my name is Nikki and today I prepared an anti-stress yoga video with postures to help you release tensions and release stress, relax your whole body and the mind. What you may need are two yoga blocks and maybe even a pillow, which I don't have at the moment, but you can also prepare. So feel free to pause the video, prepare everything you need and then let's begin. We are going to start today at the top of your heels in Vajrasana. Roll back your shoulders. You can also apply a mudra. Bhairava mudra, place the right hand in your left hand, resting one thumb at the top of the other. It helps concentration, meditation. Feel free to close your eyes and bring your attention inward into your body. Stay calm, relax the shoulders, relax your face. And slowly you can bring the right hand at the top of your chest and bring the left palm on your belly below the navel. Slowly bring your attention to your breath. Become aware of the inhalation and exhalation. Stay present, stay conscious, and just observe your breathing. Try to breathe slowly, evenly. Keep your attention on the breath, keep your focus there, slowly bring your hands together in front of your chest, Anjali Mudra, feel the energy in your palms, inhale, reach the arms up, you can gaze up towards your thumbs, exhale, hands to heart. Now come up to your knees, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale, come up. Exhale, release any tension. Again, inhale, up. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Widen your legs, exhale, bend forward, come into wide leg, child pose, balasana. Reach the arms forward, you can place your forehead on your mat. Relax. You can also bring your arms beside your thighs or place one hand at the top of the other and rest your forehead on your hands. Feel free to choose any variation which feels comfortable for you and stay there for a couple of breaths. Keep breathing calmly, naturally. And slowly extend both arms. With the next inhalation, slowly bring your knees together, come up, come up to your knees, open the chest, exhale, sit back, release the arms. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Place your hands on your lower back, fingers are pointing down, draw back the shoulders, open the chest, and you can push your hips slightly forward if you wish, engaging your glutes. Feel a nice stretch in the abdomen, in the frontal side of your body. Exhale, come back to center and sit back at the top of your heels. Widen your knees, inhale, reach both arms up, Exhale, come back into wide leg child pose. Find your breath. Inhale, round the spine. Slowly roll forward, open the chest. You can flex your knees, arch the back. Exhale, sit back. Again. Inhale, with a wave-like movement, come forward, open the chest, roll back the shoulders. Exhale, push the hips back, sit back. Inhale, roll forward, 
Keep your chest open, gaze up, open the hips, exhale, child pose. With a fluid motion, inhale, come to tabletop. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees, come to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. With gentle movements, warm up your body. You can widen your legs and step a bit closer with your hands. Come to wide leg, downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent. Your back is long. Feel free to move your head from side to side, releasing tensions from the neck. Slowly walk forward at the top of your mat. Let's arrive into ragdoll position. Grab the opposite elbows. Let's add some movement. Move a bit from side to side. Keep your knees bent. Relax the whole upper body. You can interlock your fingers behind your head and just move your head up and down. Exhale, release. Place down your hands. Bring your belly close to the thighs. Inhale, come up halfway, place your hands on your shins, look forward, lengthen from the spine. Exhale, bend forward, you can grab your calves or maybe the ankles. Slowly rounding the spine as you inhale, come up from vertebra to vertebra. Let's arrive into a standing position, roll back your shoulders, open the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up, gaze up towards the thumbs. Exhale, stretch your arms to the side, release. Roll back your shoulders, place your hands on the lower back. Let's do one more back bend. Open the chest, push your hips forward, keep your glutes engaged. Create some extra space in your chest. Many times when we are under stress, under pressure, we hold our breath, hunching our back, and we stop breathing. So it's a great way to open the chest, lift the chest, and breathe freely. Exhale, come back to center. Interlock your fingers behind your head. As you inhale, open the chest. Arch the back, try to do the back bend from the upper back, not from the lower back. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, release. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, bend forward, release. Inhale, come up to your toes. Exhale through the mouth. Bend the knees, inhale up, exhale, bend forward. Great job. Inhale, slowly shift your waist to the left foot and bring the right knee close to the chest. Make some circles with the ankles. Warm up, mobilize the ankle joint. You can place the right toes on the ground, the inside of the shin or the inner thigh muscle. You can even bring the right heel close to the perineum and bring your hands together. Let's arrive into tree pose, rikshasana. Bring your full awareness to the left foot. You can visualize that you are rooted, grounded into the earth like a tree. If you feel steady and stable, you can come further and you can extend both arms above your head. Keep your shoulders down, relaxed. Gaze forward. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Keep your chest open. Your supporting leg is strong. Keep lengthening. Exhale slowly, bring your hands to your chest. Elbows are pointing to the side. Find your focus, find your balance. Exhale with the hop of your hand slowly release, come back. Feel free to walk out your legs and then let's do it on the other side. Shift your weight to the right leg, bring the left knee close to the chest, make some circles with the ankle. Try to find the same spot as on the other side. Bring your hands together, your palms together in front of your chest. Feel free to stay there. Balance poses always reflect the state of our mind. Probably there are some days when you feel really steady, comfortable in these postures. Other days you feel rather unstable. It's quite normal. Don't worry about it. 
maybe you have too many distractions in the mind, you feel a bit off balance, just become aware of your sensations, your thoughts, and then let them go. Don't get attached to anything. Feel free to close your eyes for a few seconds to add some extra challenge to your pose. And then exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Find your breath. Slowly, with the help of your hands, release your legs. Bring your legs hip width apart. Inhale, gaze up. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Start rounding from the neck, from the shoulders. As you exhale, stop the movement. Inhale. And as you exhale, come a bit deeper. Again, when you finish the exhalation, stop. Stay there. Inhale, exhale, come down deeper. Finally, arrive into your full forward bend. Feel free to keep your knees bent, belly close to your thighs. You can interlace your fingers behind your back and bring your arms just over your head, relaxing the shoulders, relax your neck. Inhale, slowly, carefully, with a straight back, come up halfway. Release your hands, place down your hands and sit back. Place your forehead at the top of your knees, hug your knees, stay there, relax. Slide back, extend your legs and shake off your feet, shake off your legs. We go on with some yin posture, so feel free to use your yoga blocks, some extra support. Our first pose is Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose variation. Open your hips, inhale, elongate the spine. You can bring your hands below your legs and you can grab your feet from the outside. Place the forehead at the top of your yoga block and rest there for a couple of breaths. Relax the shoulders, relax your face. Feel free to round the spine now. It's more like a passive yoga posture. We are opening the hips, relaxing the back, relaxing the muscles. Inhale, slowly come up. Move your hips, move your legs from side to side. Extend the right leg and place the sole of your left foot to the inner thigh muscle, the left heel to your perineum. Inhale, reach both arms up. As you exhale, bend forward from your hips. Relax the forehead at the top of your yoga block. You can place down your elbows. Palms are facing up. Again, relax. We are practicing here the yin pose variation of Dhyanushirshasana head to knee pose. Don't force anything. Just relax. Let go of any tension. Inhale, slowly come up. Open your legs a bit wider. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, place down the right hand and bend to the right. Bring the left arm over your ear. Left palm is facing down. You can gaze forward or gaze up towards your left palm. Or feel free to close your eyes and enjoy this nice side body stretch. Exhale, release. Let's walk to the other side. Place your left hand behind you as you inhale, lift your hips, open the chest, reach the right arm back. Exhale, slowly sit back. Cross the left leg over the right. As you inhale, hug the left leg with the right hand, open the chest, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, look back over the left shoulder. Ardha Matsyantrasana variation. Keep your chest open. Keep the length in the spine. Exhale, come back to center. And let's twist to the other side. 
compensate. Inhale center, bend the right knee, bring the sole of the foot to the inner side muscle, prepare your yoga block, inhale, reach your arms up, elongate the spine, exhale, bend forward with a straight back and finally you can round the spine, support the forehead at the top of your yoga block. Janusirsasana. Don't worry too much about flexibility. Yoga is not about flexibility. Many times we think that we are limited by the body, we are not flexible. Then we realize that we are limited by our thoughts, by the mind. So this is the time, the opportunity to let go, let go any limitations, any negative thoughts, restrictions, and just enjoy your practice. Enjoy this time when you are practicing yoga. Just stay present. Keep your focus on the breath. Slowly with the next inhalation, gently come out of the posture. Raise your upper body. Open your legs slightly. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, bend to the left. You can place down the left elbow or the forearm or your hand. Feel free to gaze forward or into your right palm if that's comfortable for your neck. Exhale, round the spine. Let's walk to the other side. Place down the right hand as you inhale. Lift your hips, open the chest. Nice frontal body stretch. Exhale, sit back. Cross the right leg over the left. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Look back over the right shoulder. Same posture what we did before, now on the other side. Feel free to close your eyes or gaze back. Observe the twist in the spine, sensations. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come back, stretch out both legs. Start rocking back and forth a few times, massaging your back muscles. Slowly with control, lie down on your mat, bring your knees close to your chest, rock from side to side, massaging your sacrum, your lumbar area. Place down your feet. Let's prepare for Salamba Sarvangasana. So with an impulse, bring your knees to your forehead, place your hands to support your lower back and stretch out both legs. If you wish to practice another version, supported version with me, prepare your yoga block below your sacrum. Adjust the position so it should be comfortable. There shouldn't be any discomfort because of the yoga block. Stretch both legs, extend the heels towards the sky and bring your arms to shoulder level to the side. Keep your chest open, stay there. Keep breathing. Exhale, bend your knees, come up to your toes, engage your glutes, remove the block and slowly, carefully lie back on the mat. Let's prepare for half bridge pose. Bring your feet close to your fingers, to your sit bones. Roll back the shoulders, activate the glutes. Inhale, push the hips up. Keep your chest open. Exhale, roll out the shoulders, release the upper back, mid back, lower back. You can add some movement. Inhale, raise your hips, your arms. Exhale, slowly release upper back, mid back, lower back. Inhale, lift your hips, your arms. Exhale, release. Try to coordinate, synchronize the movements with your breath. Inhale, move your hips, your arms. Exhale, with control, slowly release. From here, extend both legs. You can grab your buttocks, roll back your shoulders, lift your chest. Bring your weight to your forearms and the elbows and place the top of your head on your mat, Matyasana or fish pose. Keep your feet together, 
chest is open, throat is open, breathe into the chest, don't put any pressure on the neck, press down your elbows, your forearms, and lift your chest to remove any weight from the head. Exhale, lift your head slowly with control, lie back on your mat. Bring your legs, your knees close to your chest, roll a bit from side to side, massaging again your inner organs and your back muscles. From here, extend the left leg and cross the right leg over the left, reach the right arm to the side and gaze toward the right hand. Our final spinal twist. Keep your chest open. Inhale, turn back to center, bring your knees to the chest. Extend the right leg and let's twist now to the left side. Try to keep your shoulders on the mat. Again, don't force anything. It should be a nice twist in your spine. Feel free to close your eyes. Keep your focus, attention on the breath. Inhale, roll back to center. One more time, hug your knees, bring the forehead close to the knees, up an asana. Stay there for one more breath. Exhale, release. Extend both legs. Take up your final position, Shavasana. Inhale, let's tense one more time your whole body. Exhale, release, relax. Again, inhale, bring your hands to fist. Exhale, relax. Last time, inhale, tense. Exhale, release. You can stay in Shavasana or come to Flying Butterfly Pose. Bring the soles of your feet together. Place your hands at the top of your belly. Close your eyes. Just observe the movement of your breath. Gentle movement in the belly as you inhale, your belly is rising. As you exhale, your belly is sinking down. Feel free to stay in Supta Baddha Konasana or come to Shavasana if you feel more comfortable in that position. Palms are facing up. Relax your feet. Toes are pointing to the sides. Relax your face. With each exhalation, release any tension from the body. Release all the muscles. Stop any movement. It's only your breath moving your body. Become aware of the energy flowing inside you, keeping you alive. Enjoy any sensation, any feeling you notice, you observe after your practice, after these postures. Keep your focus within. Listen to the calm sound of the breath. Relax. Feel free to stay in Shavasana at as much time you need. But if you wish to finish your practice, slowly start deepening your breath, moving your fingers, your toes. And slowly bend your knees, reach the arms up. Let's turn to one side into fetus position. Bring your knees close to your chest. Keep your eyes still closed. Slowly, with the help of your hands, push yourself up. Come into a cross-legged seated position, resting your hands at the top of your knees. Slowly drop your chin to your chest. Let's make some nice half circles with your head. Relaxing your neck, your shoulders. 
You can also massage your neck, massage out any remaining tension if you still feel in your body. Then take one more deep inhale, reach both arms up, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, open your chest, exhale, hug yourself, move a bit from side to side, love yourself. Inhale again, reach the arms to the side, open the chest, palms are facing up, exhale, hug yourself, cross the opposite arms, move a bit, close your eyes. Bring your hands to your third eye chakra, bow down to yourself, to your practice. Wish you a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you for joining this anti-stress yoga sequence. I hope that now you feel more relaxed, peaceful within yourself. Try to avoid stress. This is my primary recommendation. I know it's um, not so easy in real life, <laughs> but I think yoga, meditation, pranayama, relaxation, all of them can help a lot. Maybe just some parts of this, if you can include into your daily life, then I'm sure that you will see the positive and beneficial effects in your environment and of course in yourself as well. You are going to feel more relaxed and at peace. If you don't have so much time, then you can select your favorite postures or techniques from this sequence but all of the forward bands can help a lot to calm down the nervous system if you connect it with a slow natural breathing pattern never hold your breath it's important so try to breathe slowly naturally to calm down the body and the mind as well so let me know how you feel and i wish you a really nice stress-free day and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. See ya.